Eugenie Sage. Tanakwe, Mr Speaker, thank you. The Green Party certainly wants to close the loopholes in the Wildlife Act, which make it difficult for the Department of Conservation to take action against smugglers of our native birds and geckos and to investigate offences. So we are supporting the Wildlife Powers Amendment Bill, and it contains useful uh, enforcement powers for conservation officers to intervene and to prevent offending. But, Mr Speaker, the Wildlife Act was passed in 1953. It's more than 60 years old, and Nationals' changes to the Act in this bill and in the Member's Bill in the name of the Honourable Jackie Deans, which um, increased the penalties for offending, are mere tinkering around the edges. We need a much more substantial overhaul of the Wildlife Act and a major updating of it. And the Green Party in government would be much more ambitious than the National Party is in its efforts to protect uh, the future for wildlife uh, in Aotearoa. And we would be much more ambitious, whether it's the tiny rock wren or the much larger rapoka or New Zealand sea lion. They are species that have lived in these islands for millennia. And now, 60 years on from when the Wildlife Act was passed, we understand the seriousness of the biodiversity crisis and the extinction risk which many of our indigenous species are facing. So we need a sweeping review of the Wildlife Act, not just the um, small but useful changes that we have in this bill. We need a Wildlife Act which protects species in the places where they live, which protects uh, the habitat of our native birds and vertebrates, uh, bats and fish, especially when so many of them are staring extinction in the face. The Resource Management Act has utterly failed to protect the habitat of native wildlife on private land and on conservation land often. We need a Wildlife Act which gives priority to safeguarding the places that our native species live, not legislation which allows, as has happened under the RMA, a coal mining company to open cast the Deniston Plateau, which is habitat for great spotted kiwi. Not, we need law which protects river systems like Hawke's Bay's Tukituki River, which is home to at least 18 species of native fish, not law like the Wildlife Act and the RMA, which have allowed that, allowing that river to be dammed, blocking passage to the sea of native fish and preventing their ability to breed. When we've got 74% of our native fish species threatened with extinction, we need law which protects their habitat. Yet the Wildlife Act, this bill which is amending the Principal Act, does absolutely nothing to protect native fish. There's a total ban in our law on the sale of trout. They are an introduced species, but there is nothing in our law which protects native fish and their habitat. So, Mr Speaker, not just the little changes, the useful changes that this bill is making, but a much more comprehensive uh, review. And that is what the Green Party, as part of a new progressive government in September, would do. We are committed to improving the prospects for whitebait and all of our other native fish. We've got a commitment to clean water and to investing in conservation, not starving dock of funds as the national government is doing. We would increase the funding for predator control on conservation land and not force dock to steal funds away from other programs in order to slightly increase the amount of predator control it's doing. We would wind up subsidies for irrigation that leads to more water pollution and further loss of habitat for our native fish species. We'd amend the Wildlife Act to put a moratorium on commercial fishing of long-finned eel and to give protection for the banded kakapu, the giant kakapu, the koaro, and all of our native fish species, seeing their continued existence is so uh, precarious. And we would put in place law that protects our wild rivers in a similar way to the legislation which protects our national parks. We want to protect the habitat for our indigenous species and improve their prospects, not let them further decline as national is doing.